Today is the 15th of October 2020 and we have stories lined up for you regarding the update from the COVID-19 situation here in Sri Lanka all the way to Rishad Bathyuddin's update regarding a writ petition that he has filed against his arrest. This is today's Talk of the Town and you're joining me, David Paldano. Now, 49 COVID-19 positive patients were detected from the Minuan Goda cluster that appeared recently. Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva confirmed today that 13 of them are from quarantine centres, while the remainder have come into contact with someone from the Minuan Goda cluster. That brings the total Minuan Goda cluster tally up to 1,770. Now, as a result of the COVID-19 situation in Sri Lanka, Minister of Health Pavitra Vanyarachi has signed an extraordinary gazette tightening the regulations in the country. Now, the regulations will in fact be imposed in Sri Lanka and the fine for breaking these violations or in fact violating these rules is 10,000 rupees in cash as a fine and or a six-month prison term sentence. Now, Pavitra Vanyarshi said that these regulations in fact have to be followed while several other guidelines have also been issued to be strictly followed. These include wearing a mask in a business prop in a business environment or a service provider's environment, checking the temperature of everyone who enters the environment, making sure the necessary facilities are in fact available for them to wash their hands before they enter the, uh, the business apartment or a service provider's area and in order to maintain a distance of one meter between two people. Now these in fact have to be strictly adhered to. If not, they will have to pay a fine of 10,000 rupees and or serve a six month prison term sentence. Now, former Minister Rishad Bathyuddin has submitted a writ application with the Court of Appeal to prevent his arrest. Now, yesterday, in fact, police were sent to arrest him, but they could not find the former minister as he had gone into hiding. Now, today, of course, he submitted the Republic writ application in order to prevent his arrest. Now, the acting IGP and the director of the Criminal Investigations Department has been named as respondents in the case. Now, the former minister is being charged with criminal misappropriation of public funds and violating election laws where he in fact trans where he allegedly transported internally dispersed persons or IDPs in order to vote for the 2019 presidential election from where they were now the former minister says that he had transported these 12,000 IDPs after getting the approval of the then finance minister Mangala Samaravira now these Commission, the former minister says that the arrest warrant that has been issued against him was done unfairly. Now he says that he will that the arrest shall be held. He has submitted this writ application in order to stop him from being arrested until the petition that has been submitted has been examined properly. Well, that is a wrap of today's talk of the town. For more news, log on to our award-winning website that is www.newsfirst.lk or stay tuned to our social media platforms that includes Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more of the very latest. Stay tuned for tomorrow's talk of the town. For the News First team, I'm David Paldano. Take care.